Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Real Illusion Forum, animators.com. Um, I wanted to, to show this. I'm going to show this to a devs, too. This is interesting. So I just got a, um, what did I get? An Ethernet adapter for my iPhone because the new uh, Live Face plugin supports Ethernet uh, direct connection with the theory being that there is absolutely no lag behind uh, the recording of the Ethernet when you do that. Um, well, no. <laughs> That's not true. Or at least it's not true in terms of what you need to do. Uh, it's, it's quite possible the recording is accurate, but it isn't, it isn't good or isn't accurate when you put it into iClone. I want to show you this. Hopefully, let's say I have desktop audio down. So let me turn desktop audio up a little bit here so you can hear this. If I get it up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to play this iClone uh, file that I just recorded. Let's see if you can hear this. And in just a moment, I'm just moving stuff around here on my screen here. Let's see. All right, folks, are we going to record? Ah, I don't know. Look over here, I look over there. Who knows where I'm looking? <laughs> but we will see what we will see. Now, Hopefully, when you looked at that, you thought to yourself, well, that lip sync is pretty darn good. And it is. But that's not how it was recorded. <laughs> Here on the timeline shows you how it was recorded. Uh, I had to slip the audio back all the way down to 20 frames. Well, actually, this isn't, it's kind of weird. iClone kind of, this isn't really 20 frames. It's it's kind of weird on how they, they adjust their time thing. But anyway, um, it's it's all the way at 20. Look at how much I had to slip that audio to make it look good. When it was originally recorded, uh, it was recorded like this. This is how it came out when I first played it back. And I think you can see how far off the sync is. All right, folks, are we going to record? Ah, I don't know. Look over here, I look over there. Who knows where I'm looking? <laughs> but we see, see, you can see the sync is definitely off there. So moving it, slipping it forward, slipping the sound forward about 20, uh, made it appear a lot better. And this is the right place for it. So what does that say? I, I don't know what that says exactly. I think that the, uh, I don't think this is any better sync than using the Wi-Fi connection, um, but maybe it is. Maybe it's better sync once it actually starts. In other words, I guess what I'm saying is that uh, I've recorded a lot. I've done a lot of stuff with Live Face, and I and I find that if you over long passages, that the sync uh, gradually slips out, and uh, so it's possible that with using this adapter, that it won't do that. But it definitely is wrong to start with. It, there's definitely a catch-up period, and that may not be anything that the developers can do anything about. But if it's consistent, and I'm going to keep working to see how consistent this this drop is uh then they could then they could for example offset it by 22 or, or 21 for i think it's i think i have this offset by 21 or 20. i think i have it offset right by 20. um and and if that's well, maybe not maybe it's offset a little bit i guess it is 20. okay it's right at, right at 20. if it turns out that all my recordings are off by 20 frames, then obviously the developers could adjust that. In other words, once the recording was done, they could just bump this forward um, uh, and and put you know fill it with blank fill it with uh, padded frames here. So I'm not sure what's going on. Um, anyway, that's my discovery. I thought I would share it with you guys, and I I will send it to the devs and see if they have any thoughts on it too. But like I said, I'm going to do some more experiments and find out. Um, the Ethernet adapter may or may not be good. I may just send it back and go back to using Wi-Fi. Um, but if it if it holds sync by just pushing it forward those 20 frames, uh, then I'm okay. I'm okay with that. So anyway, talk to you guys on the forum. See you later.